Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel study with Mumtaz and today I am here to teach you one new video and a tutorial of a game on scratch but this is going to be an advanced level game because here we are going to involve some more code blocks which we have not used till now in our videos and I have named this game as the super cat and here you can see in the instruction press space to start so this is basically i have made it by designing my backdrop so you can also learn how to design your backdrop and how you can give such kind of instructions and how you can make your game work so let's just start and let's see how the game is working and then we'll move forward to the designing and then the coding part of it <laughs> Then I reach number of diamonds. I will be getting a super power for but here I am already lost. So let's just learn how to make this game. So initially I'll be telling you how many strikes do we need and how we can take it. This is the cat flying strike. It is already available in the sprite section library you can just open it and get it the building is also there but the crystal the diamond is not there you have to download it from the google and then you have to upload it from the section here click on upload a sprite and upload it here the way i have shown in the dino game how to upload the sprite that way you can do and the lightning also you know uh, in the png these both have to be in the png form so that the background is not visible with them so this is about the designing. Once your designing is done, you have to move forward to the coding part. So let's first understand how you need to move code for your cat sprite. Initially, what we will be doing, we will be giving some instructions to the cat. And the instructions to the cat will be when we press space key, what should happen with the up arrow, the cat should go up. And when we press the down arrow key, the cat should go down. So this is going to be happen with the space kick because initially you have seen because initially you have seen that the instruction which is given here is press space to start. So when you click on start, what should happen? Your cat should move up with the up arrow key and cat should move down with the down arrow key. After this, what is the second instruction you need to give if Y position is greater than 24? Now, what is Y position greater than 24? Right now, the cat position is 24. If it is greater than 24, that means if the cat is going up. So it will be greater. So we have to change the Y by minus 2. It will automatically changing the Y with minus 2. See, when you press the green flag and press the and it will be automatically if I don't press it. Okay. And if your Y position is less than 24, then it should go up. That is the condition given for the space key. Now, the life is set to three. So if the life is greater than zero, like it can be one or two or three, but right now it is set to three. So if your life is greater than zero, so it is going to play the sound, dance, chill out, which was playing during the game. Otherwise, if the life is not greater than zero, maybe it has reached to zero or less than that, then it will play the movie sound. Okay, this is the sound effect. The next effect which is here is the space key pressed. So when you press the space key, it is going to switch the costume of the cat to the flying costume A. Now let's see how many costumes we have with the cat flying. So here we have two costumes, the cat flying A and the cat flying B. So when you press the space, it will go to the flying uh, costume of the cat and then your life will be set to three and if your life is greater than zero and the cat is touching the building life is greater than zero but the cat is touching the building then what should happen the life will change by minus one it will play oop sound and it will wait here for one second and then it will also if it the life is not greater than zero that means the life is not even one, not two, not even three. That means it has reached to zero. So what will happen? It will change the color effect by 100 and it will glide down. So this position 151 minus 146, if I keep it here, 151 and I keep it here, minus 1, 
46. You will observe that the cat is coming down. This is the condition when the cat has lost the game and the life has become zero. So at that point, from that top position, cat will glide to the down position and it will change its color the way you have seen in the starting of the game. Now, this is about the cat coding. Now, let's go for the coding of the building. Now, we don't need to do much on building. The building is just gliding from one place to another place. So when your green flag is clicked, building has to set to this position. So it is like this. 141 and I'll just stop it. Otherwise, it will keep on making sound. So let's just try with 141 and I'll show you what is the starting position going to be. So your building is going to be up here like this when the green flag is clicked. And when you press the space, it will go to the this position 180 to minus 180, like somewhere here. And then it will keep on repeating certain steps which are inside. And when the X position is less than minus 230, minus 230 will be somewhere here. So if the building will be reaching here and if it is going to touch the lightning, then it will go back to the right position and X will change by minus 10. Why? To make it glide to that position. Otherwise, what will happen? It will switch the costume and it will set the X to 230. When it is going to appear again, it will switch the costume and then it will set it to this position of 230. So when you press the green flag and you press this So basically these are the strikes building costumes which are changing due to this code. Now let's see what we have in the crystal code. Oh, crystal code is looking actually big. Uh, it's not that much big to understand. So first of all, when your green flag is clicked, our diamonds and our thunder variable are hidden. And the position of these code blocks, these are the variables. So you will see that the diamonds and the thunders will not get visible. Once you start getting it, then it will get visible. And the initial position of your crystal sprite will be minus 88 and Y will be 73. So when you press space, what should happen? Your diamond should set to zero and your thunder should set to zero. It will just show the diamonds. And what will happen with the diamond sprite? It will be moving with Y minus 130 to 130. That means it will be taking random position from up to bottom between the value minus 130 to 130. Minus 130 will be somewhere here. Like minus 130 will be somewhere. Oh, let me just find it out. So minus 130 from this position to this position, it will, what will it be doing from this to this position, it will be taking random places, but it will be set to X230. That means on the right side, it will be set to this place, but yes, it will be taking random position from top to bottom. And it is going to repeat until your X position is less than minus 230, then X is going to change by minus five so that it can go there. And if the diamond is touching the cat, then the number of diamonds should change by one because it is set to zero. And then it will be going back to the same position again. Now, what is the thing we hear what we have when is space key pressed and if your diamonds is equal to five. When you, that means you have collected the five diamonds, then your thunder, which is set to zero, will set by 10 and it will show up and your diamonds will become back to zero. Now, what is the superpower here? The superpower here is the lightning. So what is going to happen with the lightning? When space is, when space key is pressed, it is going to hide it and the size of the lightning will be 30%. That out of 100, it is set to 30 then the lightning is going to move 50 steps. And if thunder is greater than zero and key space S is pressed, then it will create the clone of itself and change the thunder by minus one. So we know that thunder will set to 10. So if you press the space key, it will create another clone of thunder and it will change the thunder value from 10 to, like it will reduce it by minus one. 
And when the thunder is going to start as a clone, it is going to repeat turn 45 degree and change x by 20 until it is touching the edge or the building. So thunder is going to be there and the thunder is going to change the x position by 20. That means it is going to move on the right hand side and it is going to turn with 45 degree. So that's all for today's video. I hope that you like it and try to make this game and make a wonderful super cat game. And it's not needed that you do the same sprites and the same background thing. You can try out your own code blocks and your own sprite. You can make a different kind of game. It is just to give some ideas how you can work on scratch. So all the very best to all my coders. Keep coding and keep subscribing my channel and keep showing your love and support. Thank you. Bye.